Do you like aliens? How about flowers or puppies? You get to draw whatever you want today in a super fun doodle project inspired by Jill Whale. I'm excited and I know you are going to love this. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, instead of working with just one element of art, we're going to work with a principle of design. Principles of design are really cool because we get to use lots of elements and combine them all together. But we do it for a specific reason. So the principle of design we're using today is called harmony. It's also sometimes called unity. Just means that everything feels really good, like it's all meant to be there, and you did it all for a specific reason. Nothing feels out of place. A great way to have unity or harmony in your artwork is to come up with a theme so that way everything is about the same idea. Your theme can be something big like plants. It can be something more specific like not just plants. How about my theme is all about different types of cacti. You get to choose whatever you want. It could be sports or it could be more specific like skateboarding. It can be aliens, unicorns, cars, trucks, animals, anything you want, as long as everything is around that same idea. So if you start with dinosaurs, you don't want to switch to something else later down the road as you're doodling. You have to stick with dinosaurs the whole time. Now's a great time to think about what that theme is while we talk about some goals that we have for the day. We have two goals today. The first one is to describe what the principle of design unity is and know the difference between a principle of design and an element of art. We talked about that at the beginning of the video, so go ahead and rewind if you're not sure. We're also going to practice unity by creating just one theme for the whole project, so make sure you stick to it the whole time. To start with for materials, you'll all need paper and a permanent marker. A cool thing about this project is you also get to decide what supplies you want to use. I'm just going to use a white piece of paper and a black marker because that's what Joe Whale mostly does, the doodle boy that we learned about from last week's video. You can choose if you want to add colors, maybe you have paints at home, markers, crayons, it is totally up to you. For my theme today, I decided to choose food because it's something that I really like and I had a lot of ideas on. Here are some tips and tricks for doing your doodle page. One thing I did is I started with my bigger items first so that way I made sure I had plenty of room for them. And then later on, I started to fill in smaller items. Another thing that will help your theme is actually adding some different words. So you can see I added the word menu and healthy to point to some healthy items. I'm also probably going to label some of my food that you can't really tell, like this one's bacon. One last tip I have for you is to just go ahead and have fun and be creative. You don't need to do this in pencil first, just go ahead and start with your permanent marker. And it is okay to make mistakes. In fact, I've made a lot of mistakes on mine already, but you probably didn't even notice that. Go ahead, keep trying, have fun, fill in your whole page with the same topic. Once you filled in your entire piece of paper so it's full of doodles and artwork, you are done for the day. I wanna say another big thank you to Joe Whale, the doodle boy, for giving us the inspiration for this project. And I cannot wait to see what you came up with and what theme you chose to do your doodling on. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next week.